In the last video, we looked at a transistor looking integrated circuit. It has three terminals, which was a virtual ground rail splitter. Now we're going to use an op amp instead. So you don't need that integrated circuit to get a virtual ground rail splitter. You can use an op amp. We're going to use the LM358 op amp. Any op amp should work, but uh, a lot of them will have different wiring than we see here. So we're going to use the op amp on the left here. We have to the non-inverting input a uh, voltage divider here. We're going to get half of the power supply voltage. So that's going to be fixed. We're not going to vary that. We have the op amp wired as a voltage follower. And uh, so the outputs to the inverting input, what that means is the voltage we set to the non-inverting input will be the voltage at the output. So five volts because we're going to use a 10 volt power supply. But we want to split the rail. And uh, so instead of five volts, we're just going to say that is zero volts. And in relationship to the output, the positive power supply will be a positive five volts and the negative supply will be a negative 5 volts. So here you can see at the power supply we have 10 volts uh, difference. Now I'm going to go to the output which is also where the inverting input is. There's a little jumper that connects them directly together. You can see that uh, the positive supply is 5 volts higher than our output and if I go anywhere that the uh, negative supply connects you can see that we got a negative 5 volts. So one of the nice things, one of the reasons you may want a split or dual supply is that you can alternate the direction of current. So now we got uh, the power supply. The red LED is lit up. So that's more positive 5 volts. The way the red LED is lit up, 220 ohm resistor to protect it from 5 volts, we have the red LED lit up. The blue LED is wired in the opposite direction. If I go to the negative supply, Remember that is negative 5 volts in relationship to ground. So now ground is the more uh, positive side. Right there our virtual ground. And so current is going through the blue LED. Current is going in the opposite direction. It's really easy for us to alternate the uh, two directions. And so here is a schematic diagram of the circuit that we looked at. The physical component had this pin layout there. Output at the top as we saw. Direct wire going to the inverting input. And then our voltage divider going to the non-inverting input. We had to power it. That went to ground, the negative power supply. And uh, that went to VCC, the positive supply. You notice that uh, in this case, ground wasn't the negative supply anymore. We declared that to be the negative supply. And uh, the LM358 can work either with a single supply or with a dual uh, supply. And uh, so we split it. We put ground up there at the output. And the way we did that, you can see we got the LM358 right there. As I said before, the output goes back to the inverting input. And then at the non-inverting input, we had two 10 kilo ohm resistors, one going to each side of the supply rail. And this is one way you can show a 10 volt uh, voltage source right there. And uh, so at the output will be halfway, but we declare that to be zero volts and a more positive five volts on the positive side, a more negative uh, five volts on the negative side. When we go to the more positive five volts headed towards zero volts, the red LED will light up. 220 ohm should work just fine. If we turn the switch to the uh, negative supply there, we just used a jumper, then zero volts is more positive than uh, negative. 5 volts right there. Current goes that way. So as far as this resistor is concerned and uh, the output there, the direction of current is changing. It's just being diverted through one LED or the other because of the direction that they are inserted in. So in any case, hopefully that all made sense. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting to the screen and check out the links down below. They all help out a lot. I'll see you in the next video.